Doctor, I have complex regional pain syndrome and my pain radiates to my foot, leg and arm. Will only a DRG electrode be the solution? <laughs> Guys, the electrode is implanted either in the lower limb or in the upper limb. There are studies that show it is interesting to have an appliance placed on top and another appliance placed below. Why? Because only the spinal cord stimulates all the nerves of the entire body. We are unable to act in the region where the patient feels pain. With DRG, we can implant, for example, in the finger, in the heel area or in the thigh region and have a much better result. If the patient continues to experience the pain in his hand, even after implanting in the lower limb, an electrode can also be placed in the upper limb later. We have cases of patients who improve hand pain by implanting the electrode in the leg. But this is not a certainty, it is not something that will be 100%. So if the patient still has pain in the upper limb, that is, in the arm, after implanting the electrode in the leg, then we can subsequently perform a second procedure. Doctor, is it worth putting two electrodes instead of just one spinal? So folks, the medical articles reveal exceptional results in patients with complex regional pain, highlighting promising outcomes. Sometimes 30% more response, not to mention the intensity of that response. So in many cases, it is possible and can help much more than just a spinal cord electrode. Today, we successfully implanted a DRG electrode in the nerves of the patient's neck, targeting relief for the pain she was experiencing in her hands. The interesting thing about DRG is that we choose the region we want to implant to improve pain in a specific area. Oh, doctor, so if I implant the electrode in the lower limb in the leg, will it improve my arm pain? Patients with complex regional pain, they often have a response in the arm. But this is not a 100% thing, and sometimes the patient will need a new procedure, implanting an electrode in the upper limb to improve the pain they also have in the arm. The advantage of having both devices is that he can choose the intensity of each electrode to improve a pain that is in the finger, or a pain that is in the elbow, or a pain that is in the big toe. Adjusting intensity differently for optimal results is possible. We know that the pains are not always the same. Sometimes there is a region that is more intense, a region that is lighter. This allows the patient to have an infinite possibility of adjusting the device. It is crucial that after performing this procedure, you gain a thorough understanding of the regulator's functions to maximize its utility and ensure optimal outcomes. Familiarity with the device is key for optimal results. If you like the information on stimulation and tarot and want to know more about the subject, like my videos and follow my channel.